Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna break down my strategy to help you guys win the new season five gulag. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips to become as consistent as possible in this gulag. I've made guides for the previous two gulags and in both of those gulags, I was ranked top 50 for win percentage throughout the entire season. For this new gulag, I'm 15 and one and that one loss was because my internet's been a little bit wonky lately. But anyways, let's get right into my strategy. So getting into this gulag, it's probably the best version we've had since the original showers gulag. It's very close range and there's not really too many places to hide. And one of the main things is that since it's so small, you can pretty much hear your opponent right off spawn, which we're going to be using that a ton. One thing I don't think many people have noticed yet is there's actually different versions of this gulag. Just like with the showers gulag, I think there was like three versions of that. And same with this, although I'm not sure how many different variants there are, but there's definitely multiple. It's not really going to change the strategy too much, but it's just one thing to know about. Anyways, I'm going to walk you guys through the strategy and then I'm going to play the clips so you guys get an idea of how it works. So the first thing you want to know is that there's cover on the left and the right side. So usually I push straight up to that and then I hold that angle and wait till I get audio cues and wait for my nades to go up. Once my nades have loaded in, I use them where I expect the enemy to be. Or obviously if I've gotten an audio cue, I'll throw it where I hear them. Once you do that and you get a hit marker, you'll easily be able to narrow down where they are. And even if you don't, you probably still can just because the gulag is that small. So getting into this first clip, I do exactly that. I go to this right side head glitch and I wait for my nades to go up. As soon as they're up, I nade the spawn since I haven't seen anything. I get a hit marker. I C4 check that because I expect him to be back there. He ends up being a little to the left, so we slide back a little bit and then well, we camera him like with the slide cancel. Getting into the next example, I do the exact same thing, but I'm not able to throw my nades because he ends up pushing me. This gulag's obviously very tight, so if they just W key, they'll be able to get to you before your nades are up. But since it's so tight, we'll be able to hear them no matter what. So getting into it, I go right side again and I just hold the angle, waiting for my nades to come up. I end up hearing him pushing me. He pushes through mid, so I slide cancel him. I make sure I can still camera him even though he's pushing me, and I win that gunfight. So here's going to be another little trick you can do if your nade doesn't hit them. So again, I go, I wait for my nades to pull up. Once they popped up, I stun where they're most likely to be. I don't get a hit. I end up hearing him to the right. So what I do now that I don't have any nades, I just ADS walk up. He can't hear me. I get close enough to where I'm able to slide cancel and break his camera, and then we outplay him like that. That guy had no idea I was so close to him because I ADS walked up. And a lot of people don't know when you're ADS walking, you're silent as if you were crouch walking. Here's another example of the enemy pushing me like a maniac before my nades are even up. So I just play a piece of cover in the spawn and I wait for him to come up. I hear him pushing me, I ADS. I get the shot, he's weak so I don't have to ADS. I just hip fire him and he goes down. So I hope this video helps you guys out. I know it's a shorter video and the strategy for this gulag isn't as easy as the last one. Honestly, this gulag is very balanced and generally the better player is going to win in this gulag. So I recommend you guys practice against bots and just work on your movement. It's going to help you guys a ton in this gulag. But anyways, if you guys improve on your gulag win percentage with this strategy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more Warzone videos like this. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.